Well, uh, Vanessa, I want to recognize you for taking on the new role, <laughs> um, first and foremost. I mean, that's a pretty significant um, task to take care of all the PM. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your willingness <laughs> to take that position and work alongside us. We're excited about working with you. Um, for the record, just have a few things I want to talk about here. Uh, but, um, you know, throughout this, what I wrote here, um, there's kind of two recurring themes. And the first one is Linda would do whatever it took to get the job done within, you know, physical law. <laughs> she would do whatever it took to get the job done. That's recurring theme number one. Recurring theme num number two is if she kept telling the PMs how to do something over and over again, eventually it would sink in. <laughs> so, um, Linda, we're really excited for you. You know, Christmas is coming, and you know, Santa Claus is, is going to be really good to you this year. And, and you know, of course, retirement gift is the best gift ever. <laughs> um, but for the record, um, a teacher to many, a mother to many, a leader to many persistent, team player, hardworking, speed knitter, champion hopscotcher, driftwood carver. Okay, maybe I made that sound. <laughs> so there are so many things I think of when I think of, of this fabulous lady, other than her role as a, as a budget analyst, a superwoman, a super performer. And though I have only worked at the district for a little under four years, Linda has been at, with the military branch since the inception of the military program, and she hasn't missed a beat. There are many people that are critical to the processes of delivering a project. As an analyst, she clearly was a critical part of the process, and she has delivered the goods. She has been instrumental in helping to lift the military program elephant off the ground, and somehow she has convinced the elephant to run. Linda's versatility has allowed her to play many roles in helping deliver products to the customer. Before Wes and John, BWJ, before Wes and John, <laughs> Linda would teach us how to work in P2. She would persistently and doggedly come over and teach us a lesson and follow up until something made sense. It's true. Just when you thought a PM were in, PMs were incapable of learning. She constantly pushed the PMs to do things that she knew would help our group. Have you ever noticed how some people act like working is an invasion of their privacy? This, this absolutely has nothing to do with Linda. I remember staying until midnight to receive funding at the end of the fiscal year. I remember leaving work at the end of the day and turning back around to take care of urgent business. This happened frequently at the end of the fiscal year, and if she ever was grumpy about it, she lost her grumpiness quickly and got down to the task at hand. I remember for telling it like it is, was, no matter who she was talking to. I remember her for telling it, uh, for being assertive, being assertive, being proactive, being energetic, being smart, being savvy, being prudent, being a positive influence, being happy, being Linda. During lulls in the work, she found ways to keep busy by organizing, teaching, and leaning forward for the next thing, whatever that was. There was never a question as to whether Linda would follow up and whether she would get the job done. If Linda made a mistake, she would fix it and move on. And she did that frequently for the PMs as well. She did whatever it took to get the job done. I never, not once, felt like she was on the sidelines or on the bench. She was, has always been in the game with a perky smile or a scowl of focus. <laughs> Linda, you've had many careers working as a mother, a teacher, a program analyst. I'm grateful to have worked with you these final years in just one of these capacities. I can only imagine how exhausting your list of accolades from these careers might be. And I'm thankful for you being a part of our team committed to excellence in serving our Department of Defense. I'm excited for this milestone in your life. 
I'm also glad that Gamecocks had a great season this year. <laughs> if you know Linda, you know that meant a lot to her. <laughs> now you'll get to act 20 years younger than you really are with your family and extended family on a full-time basis. You'll be missed here at the district. And uh, got a book for you. All right. It's um, How to Retire. Happy, wild, and free, <laughs> which I, I felt was really appropriate for Linda. Um.